<laughs> oh. Shut up, guys, and let's podcast. Good evening, good welcome, and hello to episode four of Frut Unwrapped, the official Food Review UK podcast. My name is Nathan Peterson, and as ever, I'm with some bloody great guys. Uh, first off, he's from Bradford. He likes fi- he likes fish. That makes him our northern soul. It's Stuart Bullock. Oh, Phillips. hello, Nathan Peterson. How's it going? I'm very well. Too. I mean, that joke was the pun was terrible, but it was slightly better than your introduction, which was "good welcome," which is good welcome. Good welcome, everybody. Good welcome. Good welcome. Does it matter? No, no, no. Of course, nothing matters. Uh, I was going to ask how your holiday was, but fuck you. <laughs> My holiday was wonderful, even though you didn't ask. And I'm, but I'm glad to be back because I'm I'm glad to be back on the Frook Unwrapped podcast. Isn't it? It's been a long time coming. It has, yes. Next up, we have the commander in chief of a packet of minced beef. It's Michael Jameson. Uh, hello. Hello. I, I like commanding beef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beef I thought, curtains. Wee. I thought it was relevant given today's topic, which we'll get to in a minute. That is really relevant. It's very relevant. So relevant, it hurts. And today is a very special episode because we have our first ever guest. Um, we put our heads together and tried to work out who we should have on first. And I think a unanimous vote came down on this guy. Uh, you know him as the guy most likely to snatch a plate off of one of his fellow frock buddies. It's David Goss. Hello. Hello, David. How are you? Yeah, very good. It's an honour to be here. Is it? It is. is, 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 is. <laughs> you've, you've got me is for an something? hour. An hour, just the hour. We've, we've booked them for the hour. That's all we could afford. You'll have to speak to my manager otherwise. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, David is at, is currently with Michael, so expect some um, chaos from their end, I would only imagine. I think chaos is one good word for it. Correct. Oh. <laughs> oh. Michael Jameson's got his shot of water out. You're not having an alcoholic beverage, are you, Michael Jameson? That would be stupid thing for someone like me to do lightweight yeah oh, granddad <laughs> especially on a school night yeah isn't it it's a wednesday what would i be thinking it's a tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> oh i don't know about you Stuart, but i reckon we've got a couple of lads on the line tonight oh, lads oh that's a like a probably... blazing squad song lads on the line <laughs> <laughs> or is it love on the line do you know cool. what, right? Right. This um, is, I mean, in, a small yeah. anecdote. I have access to Michael Jameson's YouTube password <laughs> because I, I upload the Frook podcast video and all of his recently watched videos are Blazing Squad songs. Literally <laughs> all of them. <laughs> oh, I can't even deny it. <laughs> is that so you can practice your. <laughs> Just in case you forget how it goes. <laughs> I'm the only person who does remember. (laughs) (laughs) So you must know about Good Friday. No? Friday Hill. Not Good Friday. (laughs) Everyone knows Good Friday. Um, uh, Friday Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are Friday Hill then? New band. Made up of three of the members. Of? Blazing Squad. Um, Can you name one of their songs? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go on then. Oh, the big one. We'll leave it there. I mean, I don't know why we're talking about fucking Blazing Squad so much. I was atta- Me and Stuart were attacked for talking about Jaws a couple of uh, episodes ago, and we're talking about a passably average boy band from the early 2000s. I think you're being very kind there, calling them passably average. <laughs> Bloody hell. I didn't want to offend uh, Michael and David too much. <laughs> so, I feel like they... They might get too raucous if if I start offending their heroes. Verse, <laughs> it's a national treasure, but never mind. Correct. So anyway, whilst we've got you on, David Goss, yeah. David Goss, um, let's get a little bit to uh, let's know a little bit more about yourself. Yeah. How did you get involved in Food Review UK? Oh, wow. Um. Well, B and MJ 
have sort of known each other through living in the same town as youngsters. And I met MJ through the comic book shop forward slash local dogging. supermarket. Oh. <laughs> All the dogging as well. But the, but Waitrose in the comic book shop sort of came first. Yeah. We knew each other enough to basically say hello and like talk in passing, that sort of thing. And yeah. um, MJ obviously served my family as well when they shopped in. Your in father well. is one of the nicest men I've ever met. Lovely. That's lovely praise. That is lovely praise. And he will is he, a lovely man. Will he listen to this? Absolutely not. Like no. father, like son. <laughs> <laughs> he, he probably could, nah, he, he can just he can just about open WhatsApp and send a few messages. I'm not going to get him on the podcast app just yet. Um, he might get there eventually. But, which, um, which podcast app is that? Uh, the one called Podcasts. <laughs> On. Oh, okay, that actually is a thing. Yeah, no, it is. <laughs> cool. It's through an app called Podcast okay, that's well. already auto installed on uh, Apple software. Um, yeah, and so basically we met through that, and uh, genuinely, ge- and almost MJ doesn't remember it like this, but genuinely, he used to like every status on my Facebook, and he'd, he would comment with such high praise for my level of wit yeah. and comedy. Yeah. True. We had we did have a mutual respect for one another's comedy. Yeah. And I genuinely bumped into him to a bookshop in Ellsbury and he doesn't remember this at all. And I was like, Oh, MJ, how are you? And he was like, Yeah, fine, like chat normally. It was like we we'd stopped and talked for a bit and like made some small talk. It was very amicable and uh, I left thinking, What a legend, what a lovely bloke. Correct. He must have done the same because he then ramped up his social commentary <laughs> and i then obviously introduced him to you via social media and then that's really when the frat ball got rolling um, I, I like the, to think i would have found him anyway yeah mm. yeah let's go with that oh because because obviously fate and that in it mm. yeah no nah, nothing to do with me really not really basically. minimal minimal you basically owe me everything um and this is obviously i believe your first ever appearance on any podcast absolutely uh what's your history with podcasts is it something you've listened to for a while or is this sort of something new it it did fuck unwrap introduce you to podcasts i guess is the question i'm trying to ask um no in in many ways yes (laughs) this in several other ways more ways in more ways no no um yeah absolutely when you did your podcast i um i tuned in absolutely yeah and i think before that i maybe had listened to one or two uh, i it could it could well have been the first podcast i ever listened to but basically technical details aside it was at the time i listened to your first ever podcast that i started listening to podcasts no oh, so sorry. that's true and you've loved everyone since yeah, absolutely. All five stars. Absolutely. Six, really. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm, probably left a review on iTunes for us. Oh, didn't do that. Good. Didn't Good. do that, but will. Will. Will yeah. after this. Probably when this one goes live, yeah. Isn't it? Well, it is absolutely awesome to have you on the show. As I say, this you are our first guest, and we all sort of decided amongst ourselves that it would make absolute sense to have the third of the fuck buddies on here. As much. our first ever guest, and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully the listeners enjoy it even more. This is very formal. This is less off the cuff and fun as usual. I don't we like are, that. I think we're on our best behaviour because David's here, aren't we? Well, we're <laughs> trying to keep to this. We're trying to keep to this hour deadline, yeah. and, I, and I've got I, my schedule is typed up. I've never had a typed up schedule. I don't think we're. I don't think we're doing a very fucking good job of doing an hour long <laughs> podcast. To be honest. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, I, 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 I spent about half an hour t- telling you about how I met, bumped into MJ in a fucking bookshop. <laughs> so um, I can't imagine talking about food is going to uh, be rushed in any way. But correct, isn't it? Isn't yeah. it? Um, well, yeah, now we've got the introductions out of the way. Let's move on to our first segment, which is as usual news. Um, I don't know if either of you guys have got anything. Um, the only things that I've made a note of. 
the first one was that the um, uh, the KFC, the Kentucky Fried Chicken shops, mm. um, currently have their limited edition. Um, I don't know what the actual name of it is. I'm sure you guys do, but it's like an American range. What's the, what's the official name? Do you know? Yes, yeah, Southern Legends. Southern Legends. Um, we're currently on the second of four burgers, which David Goss has reviewed um, and will be going up on the channel. But is this something you guys are interested in? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, I, I love the first one. Uh, the second one isn't my isn't my thing. But yeah, love the KFC uh, burgers, love their products. Uh, they're also just a really enjoyable <coughs> product to review. Um, and they're really popular on the channel. So... Yeah, I, I mean, I very rarely go to KFC, so I will definitely not be trying those. But is is KFC one of the products that comes out of a dog's bum? No, no, KFC is not. KFC, that's purely McDonald's. KFC, I worked at KFC uh, 17 years ago, so I know exactly what goes on behind the counter. And I don't go to KFC anymore. <laughs> yeah, they fried chicken. <laughs> Yeah, wow! And other things. Now this, what now else? this, now this is a podcast I'd listen to. <laughs> let's let's talk KFC, the dirty deep South secrets. Oh man, right. The KFC I worked out there was a, there was an ant infestation, and there was a guy there that used to throw ants in the fryer. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they were dead. Well, they were afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Amazing. Yeah. In, in, I assume intentionally. It yeah, wasn't, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, he was a psychopath, an absolute psychopath, yeah. Did yeah. you have a nickname for him? Was it Ant-Man? Nope, it uh, was not. Wow, so, that's... Psycho Kev. It's a fairly, <laughs> fairly good yeah. villain name. Uh, was his I, name Kev? No, it wasn't actually. No, it was Jeff, but, you know, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't work quite as well, does it? Nah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but you don't you don't eat KFC? Uh, do you know, it's not that I don't eat KFC. I just don't really eat KFC. I haven't, I haven't made like a decision that I don't eat it anymore. My wife's a vegetarian, which impacts my fast food intake massively. Mm. Wow. So, yeah, bad times. Do This is going to sound like an odd question. Do KFC have a vegetarian option? No, they didn't used to. They used to do um, a vegetable wrap. So they had like a vegetable nugget that they, that they did fried and then did as a wrap but it was meat free but not vegetarian because it was fried in the same fryer as chicken I don't know <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of idiots i know i don't know whether that's still the case or whether they have an actual vegetarian option but going back what 18 17 18 years there was no vegetarian option even Awful. the chips even the chips aren't vegetarian or they weren't so <laughs> very very odd um why, why is michael whispering what's what's he whispering about um, no, it's nothing. Uh, it's just uh, it's quite, quite, <laughs> quite a funny thing has just happened. Basically, um, this is awful. No, this is hilarious. Uh, basically, I bought a wrist rest like six months ago or something because I was suffering from repetitive strain injuries. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wanking off to blazing squad so often. <laughs> Look, let's not discuss the reason why I needed it. <laughs> um, and uh, it started leaking recently, so I had to buy a new one. And the new one arrived a couple of days ago, and it was it was like very uncomfortable to do it without it, to use a computer without it. And Gossie was just bending it, and I was worried it was going to break. <laughs> and so he told me not to stop using it. And I took my headphones off to say, I'm sorry, but I, but I fidget. <laughs> and then he started whispering back to me, that's okay, as he took it out of my hand. <laughs> He's now thrown it away so that I can't reach it. So I don't know what I'm going to fidget with now. But um, sorry, we digress. Okay. Um, as you were saying, Crystal Meth Jeff and his veggie wrap from KFC. What did he do to it? What I happened? Know, just just topped it up with ants. But other than that, nothing. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't be vegetarian. No. Um, the the other, pff, it's not major news, I'm sure this probably doesn't interest you guys, but I thought I'd mention it. Tonight, as we record, not as we upload this, uh, sees the return of the Great British Bake Off as it's oh, moved from BBC way. to Channel 4. Is this something you guys watch, care about, no, give a fuck no, about? No. Channel 4, love Bake Off, love that it's found a new home there. Do you genuinely like, like Bake Off? Love it. Do you? Yeah, why, why, why wouldn't I? I don't know. I just, I just had this impression you hated it. Ah, mate, love it. Great show. Cool. 
So, so you're you're looking forward to seeing the new series on uh, on the C4. Frankly annoyed we were doing this on the launch. <laughs> <laughs> to be to be no, I know it sounds a bit rude, but you know, chill out. You can go. And, you can go and watch it. We'll, we'll just record with Gossy. Nah, oh, yeah, isn't that's it? Good, isn't it? Rude. Do you got, founder? How do you guys find it on iPlayer? What, the, the, the Bake Off. <laughs> Not even available on iPlayer. Yeah, no, how do, do you guys enjoy it? Is that something you like? I couldn't give a shit uh, about it, to be honest. I loved Bake Off. I didn't, I didn't give it, when it first started, the first series, I was just like, meh, this looks like something that old people watch on a Sunday afternoon. Um, sorry to discriminate against the old people. And uh, But once I started watching it, I, I, I love how quintessentially British it is. It's It's very quaint, very eccentric, um, and I find it very interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing how this new series works with the new presenters. Um, Noel Fielding, I like in this type of role, but Sandy Togsvick is a very odd choice for me. Um, very cold woman that I just don't see being, I don't know, it just doesn't, just doesn't seem like somebody that would work well on a show like this. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I've never felt her. <laughs> well, Good. I was I was similar. I didn't. I think I didn't watch the first one or two seasons seasons series, and then I quite enjoyed it. I used to watch it a lot and stopped watching it maybe two or three series ago. I just felt it, it was getting a bit samey. I was finding yeah. I was just getting annoyed with basically simpering girls and Paul Hollywood. There'd always be a, like a, a younger woman on it who may or may not have been slightly more attractive than the old women that were on it. And Paul Hollywood simply, oh, Ruby, that's a beautiful cupcake you've made, Ruby. Oh, it's such a good bake. <laughs> and look, at, if she was Gladys and she was 93, he'd have been ripping that cupcake to bits. I just, ah, oh, he's a disin, disingenuous bastard. Um, so whether or Which... not I'll watch it, I don't know. I think my wife is probably watching it now. I reckon I'll give it a chance. I used to be a big fan of the Mighty Boosh. I like Noel Fielding. I'm ambivalent towards Sandy Toxvig, mm. as, as I, th- I think most people probably are. But you know, I don't I, hate her like you. I don't. I don't. I don't actually hate her. I just, just don't think she's somebody I would have thought would work on this. But we shall see. We shall. See. They, they obviously saw something in her that thought that it would work with this type of show. But I. I yeah, I. Lo- I love it. But at the same time, I could see myself one one year just not watching it and never giving a shit. Like I used to be so big into The Apprentice, and then just literally one day I just stopped watching it for no reason. I didn't choose to do it. I just didn't watch it, and then I've never gone. I never went back to it. So I could see myself doing the same with this. But I'm in it for the next series or two. I would imagine. Mm. I, I, pres- I presume I'm the only one here then that doesn't know who Sadie Djokovic is or whoever you just said. <laughs> <laughs> That's Novak's wife, isn't it? Yeah, Sadie Djokovic. Um, yeah, Sadie Tomsvig. That's the one. Uh, yeah, she's a, a, small, a journalist, small, small Danish lesbian journalist, TV presenter, comedian, Wit. presenter. Yeah, yeah. She was, okay. sort of, I guess, like the eighties and nineties was when she first sort of, or when she was biggest, and she Who, sort of just stumbled along since then. Whose line is it anyway? Yeah. Right. Cool. Well. <laughs> I love Noel Fielding. He's a good old boy, isn't he? He's funny. So if he's if he's it, I just assume though that Noel Fielding on this won't take it seriously at all. No, I I, I would have loved to have seen him and Richard Ayoade do it, uh, isn't it? If Richard Ayoade was doing this, he wouldn't give a shit. He would be ripping it limb from limb every episode. Like he, did, I watch Travel Man. He doesn't even care about his own show, really. He's sort of a bit <laughs> like he's just he's just blase about it. He's he is genuinely right. too intelligent to be on television because he I, I don't think he believes in TV yet he's always appearing on it I think Correct. I just hate it. I love him I love him basically long story short and I think uh, yeah I think yeah I don't know how we've come from Noel Fielding to Richard Ayoade this quickly but <laughs> but I think no, Noel Fielding will be the same I can't see him being genuinely interested in cakes so comment below if you prefer Sandy Toxic or uh, Richard Ayoade um <laughs> <laughs> What a weird battle that would be. Um, have you guys got any other news? Uh, I suppose it's worth mentioning that one of my favourite sweet brands has combined with one of my favourite soda brands, and they're releasing Vimto Millions. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ugh. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, fuck Fucking Vimto is just wrong. I, I, don't no. get, I don't get your excitement level for this. 
It's a nice soda. Good. Vimto Millions, are they honest, available next? Go on. If I'm being honest, I'm actually having technical issues with my headphones. Right. What are those? Probably not worth mentioning. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I'm not having any technical issues at all. <laughs> what, what's wrong, Michael? Can you not hear them? Or? Uh, it's just dropping in and out a little bit. I need to get a new pair. <laughs> I was getting that a minute ago, though. Oh, no, this is definitely the headphones. They're from Lidl. <laughs> Why have you got Lidl bought headphones? Just because they're a neon colour? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking joke of a man. Have you, have you got another pair you can go and get? Sort of not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it should be fine. Can, can, can you, and, uh, you and Gossie share an earpiece each? Nah, should be fine. Like your two schoolgirls on a, on a bus listening to the latest Ed Sheeran? Or Blazing Squad. Wow. Or Blazing Squad, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, la- the latest Blazing Squad, what, from 2006? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say when the school w- girls were born. So, you, so you're just gonna just gonna rock it out, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, gonna, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Gonna bloody have to, don't we? Bloody troopers. Um, so that's it for news then. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to those those of you who uh, follow the podcast were probably expecting an episode from us a couple of weeks ago. Actually, probably yeah, probably about yeah two weeks or three weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we had technical difficulties, and although we did do a podcast, unfortunately, didn't record. So we're going to have to cover off some of the things that we did on that podcast, but we'll just attack them very very quickly. Uh, the first thing of which was that we uh, we had an email question from one of the listeners, Reed Wilson, regarding one of the topics that we talked about on episode two, I think it was. Anyway, Reed asks, how do you make a homemade pizza from the base to the toppings? Nate and Stu are familiar with my answer. Love your versatility, Reed. <laughs> um, so, Stu, I'll let, I'll let right. you go first on this. I'm going to suck super quick because, we. I mean, we've literally already discussed this, but no one yeah. heard it. So every every Christmas Eve, I make calzones. I use packet dough, so I buy the powder packet, mix it up, knead, 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 knead. Top that with meatballs, chorizo, uh, spicy peppers, and then I buy a pot of tomato and mascarpone pasta sauce, and I use that as the pizza sauce, and it is absolutely awesome. A mixture of mozzarella and cheddar. And uh, that's how I make homemade pizzas. And anyone who puts tin spaghetti on a pizza is a fucking savage. That's the entire country of New Zealand wrong. Michael Jameson, how do you make pizzas? Wow, and Stuart doesn't swear, so that conveys the emotion well, I think. Yeah, uh, I made, I've, I've only made a couple of homemade pizzas. One was a couple of years ago, and it was fine, all right. Uh, actually, I did make one the other day, but basically I used the wrong recipe. But... Uh, a couple of weeks before that, I used a new recipe. Uh, I will share it on social media shortly so you know what it is. It's so easy. You don't need it. K-N-E-A-D, not the other one. And you prove it for 72 hours, so 24 hours in just on the side and uh, 48 hours in the fridge. And the <coughs> flavour is insane. It bubbles up. It's absolutely phenomenal. Tasted like restaurant quality, something like uh, Pizza Express. <laughs> right, Nathan Peterson, tell us about the, um, the the travesty that your wife calls a pizza. Well, I mean that's that's a bit much, isn't it? I mean there's no need to, there's no need to do a drive-by on my wife for fuck's sake. Uh, so <laughs> good, cause he's dead. Um, so we don't really make. Traditional pizzas in the Peterson, house, uh, Peterson household. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I can't work out if he's laughing at Stuart or MJ's done something else chaotically no. weird. No, just getting over the fact that we're, we were asked how to make homemade pizzas. MJ takes 72 fucking hours plus to do this. <laughs> I haven't, got fucking, I haven't got fucking time to spend three days straight on a fucking pizza. I'd just rather get the fucking Dr. Opnicks or whatever it's fucking called. Fucking hell. Dr. Opnicks. Dr. Robotnik. Yeah, what? Yeah, Dr. Robotnik's fucking pizza, whatever his name is. They're nice enough, and that's fucking done in 12 minutes. <laughs> um, anyway. Anyway, whilst Gossie recovers from that. Um, yeah, so 
we do what are called pita pizzas, where we take a uh, pita bread and we cover that with, or top that with, uh, tomato. What did I say? It was paste. Puree. Puree. Pure. Uh, tomato puree. Oh. Uh, any type of cheese we can get our hands on. Usually, usually the, a cheddar raw. Sometimes we use mozzarella, um, and then a pepperoni or salami and peppers and onions and it's way 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 better than you're making it sound it is a very easy nice quick dinner it's amazing everything about it is fine it's just the one ingredient you can't tomato puree man oh I mean, it's very like lightly topped in it it's not like it's 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 normal pizza amount of tomato sauce I, I don't know what to say to you guys it's it's novel it's different and it works for us so fuck you um <laughs> Puree, purees. Good. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll I'll tell my wife about that, and she'll um she'll uh, have a word with you, David. Um, please don't. I was just trying to show off to impress the lads. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were. Um, do you make pizza? You, you're obviously into your gastronomy. Yeah, you, yeah. Have you made pizza yet? Yeah, when I was about eleven, I made it at school. Um, I'm pretty sure, actually, when I was at school, it was the only thing they got you to make. But um, no, I haven't actually, as an adult, since I've got involved in cooking and stuff. Genuinely, hasn't. It hasn't been one that I do. But I follow a lot of Lean in Fifteen recipes, and I know he's got like a, a, a pizza recipe that he does. I know people that have had it and they do really enjoy it and they do say it's dead quick. So I might try that, give it a go. Um, but no, genuinely haven't, haven't cooked a pizza. I, I do a lot of oven pizzas, to be honest. They're two quid, three quid, <laughs> and they take about 12 minutes to get done. So, um, yeah, for, for that reason, I, I haven't done it. But I will. I will. Good. Okay. Cool. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much, Reed, for your question. Anybody else, uh, any other listeners who have any questions, then obviously feel free to drop us a line at frogcast at gmail.com. I believe that's correct, isn't it, Stuart? That is correct. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, if you've got any questions or any other comments, feedback, whatever, drop us a line there. Right. I mean, half hour in, um, we've, we've literally <laughs> used up half of our time on the show, uh, and we haven't even got to the main topic. Uh, tonight's topic, which was suggested by David Goss, is... Burgers. Correct. <clears throat> so we're going to talk a few things about burgers. Because of the amount of time that we spent on it, I'm going to drop trivia for tonight. And Aww. we'll just get weighed. Oh. I mean, I, I can do it if you want. I'm yeah, just conscious. All right. Okay. Um, does anyone know where the term hamburger comes from? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, they, they, it, it, basically, the, the burger comes from Hamburg Incorrect. in Germany. Incorrect. The hamburger is named after the McDonald's advertising character, Hamburglar. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of that, Stu, so... Wow, it's, it's, it's remarkable. Uh, David is actually correct. Um, or certainly, I'll rephrase that, I certainly didn't find any research that supports Stuart's <laughs> 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 Um Yeah, it, it, uh, the term originates from um, Hamburg, um, although there is... Um, the actual invention of the burger is still contested as to where it began, but it certainly started, seems to have started around the late 19th uh, century. Started with the bottom bun, did it not? Good one. Um, Wasn't worth well waiting for. Yeah. Yeah. Glad, glad about that. Keep your headphones off, mate. Um, <laughs> wow. The largest commercially sold burger in the world is sold by Mally's Brazil. Sports... Sorry? Brazil. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. Um, Mally's Sports Grill and Bar in Southgate, Michigan, so very close. Right, right, Ireland. Um, guess how many pounds it weighed, including bun and other toppings? Do you mean how much it cost? Because that no. currency isn't pounds, I don't think. Uh, oh, get... <laughs> oh, God. Guess how much it weighed in pounds. Uh, 50 pounds. 50, five zero pounds. Five zero. Okay. David? I'm going to say 72. 72 pounds. This is a world record burger. You're saying that like that's not, that's, that's a big, they would both be massive burgers, Nathan Peterson. 
yeah, okay. yeah. You can't if you if you turn around and tell me it's a ten stone burger, I'm not going to believe you. Okay, Michael Jameson. Well, I mean, a prick would say seventy three pounds because obviously that's just above Gossies. But so that, really... is that your answer then? No, no, seventy four pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Remarkably, Michael is closest. Um, it's one thousand seven hundred and thirty-nine pounds in weight. Incorrect. Uh, of which one thousand one hundred eighty-nine is the actual burger itself, the beef. Wow. The bun itself weighs two hundred and fifty pounds, and the other toppings, so which were cheese, tomato, lettuce, pickles, and onions, three hundred pounds. It I costs. Have fries with that. Sorry. I have fries with that. You can. It costs eight thousand dollars. <laughs> What? It costs eight thousand dollars and it needs three days' notice if you want to order it. Can you just tell me, please, um, how much nope. is that in stone? In stone, yeah. I was going to do that calculation earlier, but didn't. So we'll just say more it's, than ten. No, it's about <laughs> it's about a hundred and uh, about one hundred and twenty stone. That's pathetic. Six full-grown <laughs> large men. Eight thousand. I, I want to know who can afford it for a start. Plenty of people in Mally's Sports Grill and Bar in Southgate, Michigan. Well, it's not the fucking largest commercially, largest sold commercial bu- burger, is it? It's probably only ever been bought like once. <laughs> <laughs> the actual, the actual largest burger of all time. I haven't got the the actual uh, thing down here, but the actual largest one-off burger ever built was actually two. It was about two thousand five hundred pounds. It was in Germany, and remarkably. Remarkably, that record was broken on the same day that this burger was um, first sold. So there must have been wow. some... I don't know if there was some sort of burger event that day. But, um, yeah, so 9th of July 2017. They're both very recent record breakers. Wow. Interesting. Uh, roughly how many burgers to date have McDonald's sold? Oh, 700 billion. Stuart or David? Yeah, that... David? I'd, I would say... One hundred and fifty trillion. Is a trillion a thing? What's bigger than a billion? Trillion. trillion. Infinity burgers. <laughs> no, they, they haven't made infinity burgers to date, no. <sighs> Although I guess as they're continuing to do it every day, I don't know. Um, I mean, it, it's way less than you're guessing. Um, it, as of two thousand four burgers. <laughs> Four real burgers. Remarkably, Stuart wins by being three hundred billion off. Um, uh, yeah, it's it, as of two thousand. I think thirteen. So this is. I don't know if it, I couldn't find a more up to date uh, figure than this. But it, as of two thousand thirteen, it was three hundred billion burgers. Currently going at a rate of seventy five every second worldwide. Um, and the last little bit of fact is because we've had a few of these world war or nazi related um facts on the show during world war one america america tried to rename burgers liberty sandwiches which is just fucking horrendous and such an american thing to do um considering that's the country that gave us freedom fries um right let's get on to the subject of burgers obviously last week it was um national burger day it was. I believe. Yes. yeah yeah <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. Sorry, Michael. I'm starting to feel the love. You are, are, are you actually drinking, Michael? I would. I would never say that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Is it, is it a problem with the headphones or is it a problem with your head? What's that, mate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm gonna have to put him to bed in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, yeah, as it was, uh, this was obviously suggested by Gossi, and I don't know whether he took this into account or whether he's just a very clever young man, but he uh, he chose bur- burgers for this week. Um, as I say, burger, burger, National Burger Day last uh, last week. We'll start it off simple. What are your favourite toppings on burgers? I'll go to David first. T- toppings on burgers? Yeah, what's your favourite burger? Give, give, give us a rundown. You can include your bun and your burger itself. Oh, God. Um, oh, that's a big question. Uh, if we're talking about toppings, though, which we are, uh, yeah, which we are, but not, but as in Stuart, not talking about buns and patties and shit, just no. literally the stuff that goes with it. Correct. I I like. I'm a fan of onions. 
Okay. Uh, uh, grilled uh, or raw? Yeah, oh, I was right. going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was getting to that. Um, both. I'll have both at five, guys. But um, I do prefer grilled onions. Yeah, um, correct. What I don't mind also is lettuce. Don't mind lettuce. Bit of lettuce. That's fine. What I hate is oh, correct. tomato. Correct. Oh, yeah. Has no a tomato has no place in a burger, and I don't know one who originally thought that was a good idea, or two why in 2017 tomatoes are still being used in burgers. Like surely, surely every restaurant owner must see every slice of tomato being picked out of every burger before con- <laughs> consumption, because that is all I see. Yeah, yeah, it it, it is a detestable. It, it hasn't got the right I, I texture. I think it might be bottom of my list. Yeah, it hasn't no. got the it hasn't got the right texture. It's it's because it's too watery. Like juices flow, and it it's just me- it's actually quite messy. And at the same time, yeah, it, it doesn't complement it doesn't complement the burger at all. It's it's, it's mm. not for me. Sweetness, bit of juiciness, and it it it, it lightens it up a bit. I actually quite like tomato slices. Oh, stop in. playing devil's advocate. You yeah, this is. Yeah, this no. is a guy that doesn't even eat ketchup or he didn't know what ketchup was until 2016. So didn't he runs runs the UK's premium food review channel? Hadn't had a Big Mac until like this year. Yeah, three years into the, three years into having the channel. Yeah, last year wasn't it? Possibly. Still, doesn't well, matter. Well. Semantics. Well. Um, uh, any any condiments on any sauces on that? Oh yeah. To be honest, um, I don't. I'm. I'm not someone that has like mustard with things with dinner. Mm-hmm. But don't mind mustard in a burger if mm-hmm. it's with, say, ketchup. I.e. Yeah. Sort of cheeseburgers, that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, that's not bad. Do love a like a burger sauce or a burger relish. That's not bad either. Um, I love burger sauce. To be honest, as a dip. Um, yeah. Uh, for chips and I, I love it across my chips as well if I'm absolutely bad coming home from the pub and also burger sauce on kebab um, which is weird because you don't really it's not really tradition like we don't see it on many burgers do we we have the Big Mac sauce mm. but otherwise I can't name you really any other burgers that have burger sauce with it which is obviously quite remarkable given it is called burger sauce and not kebab cheesy chip sauce yep correct um, um, you, I don't think you mentioned it. Cheese, presumably. Oh, by the way, staying on sauce topic, mayo with chicken burgers, uh, good, oh, but essential. Yeah, yeah, but also with um, obviously sometimes your yeah your southern themed KFC burgers, for example, um, i.e. dirty Louisiana, like that sort of barbecue sauce. Um, yeah, there is time and place for that. That is like that sort of southern style like or chili sort of style but that yeah barbecue slash chili sauces they can go with chicken as well quite well i would oh, say um nice. yeah so che- cheese oh yeah cheese. <laughs> cheese, cheese cheese absolutely is a Essential. must yeah, yeah yeah i would genuinely say I would have cheese with every burger, and that's including chicken yeah. as well. I, oh, quite, yeah, I, 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 lo- I love chicken, uh, chicken, cheese, and bacon like hybrids. They're quality. Like, um, yeah, cheese, cheese is, cheese is, yeah, amazing. I, I would go as far as to say the only burger I don't eat regularly with cheese in is probably a McChicken sandwich, um, or if I'm having like uh, mayo chicken or whatever, the 99p version, basically as a side. Yeah, obviously that doesn't have cheese either, but the 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 only sort of yeah fairly sized burger um, I have without cheese is probably a meat chicken sandwich. The rest, yeah, goes without saying. Cheese is a must. I'd I'd honestly be angry if it didn't have cheese. Yeah, like angry. Even if it Would was you? advertised as having cheese, I'd be like, no, <laughs> this isn't acceptable. <laughs> Stuart, yeah, cheese definitely. I used to be a big fan of, you know, like on a homemade burger, the cheese food slice. I've moved away from that. I quite like a smoked cheese on a burger. Mm. That's good. Uh, pickles. Mm-hmm. Love them. Absolutely Ooh. love a pickle. Uh, mm. m- yes. Mustard. Pickles. Mustard. 
<laughs> no. Cheese, bacon, <laughs> barbecue sauce, bit of lettuce is all right. I don't put, I wouldn't put it on if I was making it myself. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward really. But barbecue sauce for the win. Definitely. Wow, something, something weird has just happened. Really weird. Um, really, 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 really fucked up. I mean, it, nah, it's not quite as fucked up as that. Oh no, I think it's quite weird because he that came up the moment Stu yeah, said. Yeah, true. So I've got notifications on my YouTube app on uh, on YouTube on the PC, and so I don't know what video it is, but uh, someone Wendell boy has just commented on a video saying needs mustard. Hey! <laughs> and that's really weird because it was just as you were going mustard mustard like it literally came up needs mustard and i thought hang on are we doing this live to viewers like i think we might have solved the mystery of uh who one of the fake, who one of the fake accounts is then yeah yeah at least at least narrow it down to wow. two people uh, yeah isn't it uh michael yeah talk us through uh, your shitty burger uh i don't know why you're using that tone for me that's a bit offensive <laughs> because it will be awful uh cheese right uh quite like mayo with it these days uh as no. Moist, no. not food as mike harlock calls it uh bacon is pretty much as essential as cheese be it chicken burger be it burger burger, <laughs> 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 burger. um yeah quite um and so for me there's kind of two uh different sides of a burger you've got your fresh like salady ones which have got lettuce tomato usually mayo um that kind of way and it, i probably would have cheese and bacon in that as well and then you've got your other other side which is just kind of the meat is the star of the show with cheese and bacon basically and the meat um looking specifically as at burger king as an, an example uh love the bacon double xl cheese Yes. Uh, but also love their promotional burger this year. The I think it's called the Fiery Barbecue XL or something. It's very similar to the um, Bacon XL, but it's got uh, just a load of salad in there and a slightly spicy barbecue. It's really nice. Um, and yeah, from the five guys, I'd be seen having pretty much one of those two. Uh, very standard bacon cheese, extra bacon, extra cheese, double pats, probably some mayo. Um, or I'd go the other way with with a load of lettuce and salad in there. G- genuine question. Um, w- when you go to Five Guys, because I'm obviously a bacon cheeseburger uh, customer as well. Yeah. To the point where I've never even had the hot dog. Yeah, correct. The extra bacon and yeah. extra cheese, mm. do you have to pay for that? No. no. Absolutely not. Yeah. Wow. No. no. But the extra pay? Yeah, that's, I think, two or three pounds extra per patty, but I, I don't think there's even a limit. I think that's good to clarify. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, if you go to Five Guys and you don't get the extra bacon and the extra cheese, you're doing yourself and, honestly, your mouth a disservice. I don't know if there's a limit on how much extra bacon and extra cheese. I don't know if you could say, can I have ten extra bacon, please, for free? But, Very good um, question. Mm. But certainly the initial upgrade is is free. And, uh, yeah, I agree. Actually, the first time I ordered the extra bacon and cheese, the, they just – I don't think they – I don't know whether they did put in extra bacon or not because it just didn't really appear any different. Um, but it's, since, since the kind it, of, it's the kind of thing that you assume would cost more, wouldn't you? Mm, you would, but Five Guys is, is worth it. I think pretty much the same. I think I think you've rattled off all the, all the things I would have, obviously – bacon it's quite nice to have a nice like proper crispy bacon because obviously mm. it will know that that's the right way to have your bacon not your flopsy um cheese ketchup and mayo i quite like um iceberg lettuce i was just wondering if you guys have got any odd alternative toppings that you like having the reason i mention that is as as gossy will know the a, a topping that i've had in the past that i found phenomenal uh was peanut butter in a wow but you can't have cheese peanut butter has to replace the cheese oh absolutely absolutely i I, I can't remember exactly what came in the burger other than the peanut butter i think it may have been mayo it may have may have been bacon um but uh peanut butter in in a burger works so much better than it sounds like it should um and i wondered whether you guys had any other sort of alternatives that you've tried and liked the the elvis burger Mm. and 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 that is actually and it was actually named the Elvis Burger because he genuinely did love peanut butter yeah. on his burger. 
That's actually yeah. a fact. True fact. And fried bananas. Did it? Was that? That, yeah, that yeah. was part of his burger, was it? Yeah, yeah. He was a big one of the things. One of Elvis's favourite sandwiches was the twenty-four carat sandwich. Entire loaf of bread, hollowed out, peanut butter, bananas, bacon, the whole thing sealed up and chucked in a deep fat fryer. Yeah, he was really. Mad. He was mad for it. Yeah. Pe- really. MJ, pe- pe- you need to do it. Bacon. Do it. Amazing. Sounds um, incredible. Unusual toppings. I'll, I'll give you another standard. I'll give you another one. Another example. It's, it's one that um, Gourmet Burger Kitchen do. Um, they do the kiwi burger. No, yes. No. Don't yes. Do it. Which which I, includes? I like it. Pie, no. I think it's pineapple, egg, and beetroot. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, and I'm, and, and I like it's it. really really nice. It's so good. Literally nothing is making me like New Zealand. <laughs> I can't. Every <laughs> single, oh. oh um, they're so wrong. I'm not a fan of beetroot at all, really. And I had the burger and I was like, this is amazing. Um, yeah, and the fried egg, again, is something oh. that I think is becoming more and more popular on a burger. It re- works really well. The saltiness works really well with the rest of the burger. No. Yeah, Weatherspoon no. do an egg one and that. Yeah, I do bloody love an egg in it with the runny yolk. Oh. Uh, <laughs> nah, good. Nah, it's good, mate. Nothing wrong with that. I am. Um... I like we were saying earlier about it being National Burger Day. Um, I had a, I went to a place called uh, Mar Pluckers. Oh, that looked so fucking good. Yeah, and I had a three way, three way bird burger, and it had um, basically fried chicken, buttermilk fried chicken. It had a rotisserie. Like a chipotle rubbed and roasted chipotle uh, <laughs> rotisserie chicken. Can we, should we? Are we correcting that pronunciation or? Nah, no, we're no, not. No. 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 All right, okay. Yeah, you run with that, David. What was yeah. it? Chip, chipotle? No, chipotle. Nah, fuck off. Um, and then it had <laughs> a, uh, and then it had like a spiced pulled pork chicken. Have I said that fucking right? Pulled pork. <laughs> Poule, poule, which is French for chicken. The way they go, yeah. chicken, chicken pork. You're not laughing, you're learning. Uh, <laughs> so it was three different types of chicken uh, with a waffle. So waffle is also uh, an unusual topping. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's a. I guess that goes under your quirky category, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and it quite well because it is quite sweet, and at the same time. It's got the it's got the right texture to soak up sauces and sort of utilize them for the rest yeah. of the tastes. So yeah, that works. And Jesus, that was an amazing burger. It also had like a yeah garlic mayo in it and a and like a barbecue sauce at the bottom. It was brilliant. Yeah, amazing. Wicked. Um, I've also I, I, in terms of beef burgers, I've had a beef burger from. Uh, again, it's in Soho, um, and it was called the. It, it was at Red Dog Saloon. Don't know if you guys are familiar with that. Nope. Uh, and I had the Gooey Louie, which includes toppings: beef brisket and mm. and mozzarella dippers. Like, mm. so they were like big, thick mozzarella chunks. And again, obviously, it's cheese, I guess. So it's not that unusual or quirky, but. Obviously, as you can imagine, it was amazing. And, uh, yeah, the brisket obviously has quite strong flavours, so that went really well with it as well. Mm. Other, other than that, I can't really think of too many quirky uh, toppings that I've had. Mm. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Um, actually, your um, your descriptions there of Mar Pluckers and, and uh, what was the other one? Red? A Red Dog Saloon. Red Dog Saloon. Um, brings us on, on to another subject that we've, we've got for burgers, which is... Uh, Obviously, over the last, I don't know, 10 years, we've seen a massive uptrend in the uh, the gourmet burger world. Um, and it's it's moved away from the, the high street and becoming a much more sort of um, a bigger industry. And, and it's now becoming, it's like gourmet. I just wondered what your guys' thoughts were on that, whether you have any particular favourite uh, chains or, or restaurants as a whole, um, and how you think that they compare to the high street. Because obviously, one of the things we see when we reviewed them on the channel, was a lot of people criticising the price um, without really taking into a, a account maybe the uh, improvement in quality. So uh, just, uh, yeah, what, what are your guys' thoughts on, on, on those two, um, High Street versus Gourmet? Yeah, I think, um, actually, you were talking about weird toppings a minute ago. Um, actually, <laughs> got a couple of them. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, we finished that one, Michael. No, oh, no, no. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. Save uh, that for the director's cut. So yeah, I think I reviewed um, McFlurry in a burger once. That was a weird topping, and that was that was nice. Um, the, shit and, you do, uh, the shit you do with McFlurries. Stop putting stuff in your McFlurries. Yeah, isn't it? Or yeah. stop. You know, and imagine what I don't film. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not. You know, I'm not making any kind of lewd suggestion there. It's just a, you know, think with your mind, not your eyes. In a lot of ways. Stay you know, then you've got to think, <laughs> what mixing did I have? Did I have smart, you know, was I picking out smarty shells from, but you know, or whatever. <laughs> but what was the other weird one you were going to say? I was going to say, uh, I went to Miller and Carter for the first time yesterday. Mm. Um, and they had onion loaf. Which mm-hmm. is sublime, yeah. Yeah, it's like onion bargy in bread. Yeah, and uh, ooh, it's you get it with the steaks, but there was also there was a specific burger that had it as a topping as well. Oh, I was going to say because the onion loaf isn't in bread. Yeah, correct. So I don't know why you just said it was. Yeah, no, but it's on. Yeah, it's on one of these <laughs> burgers. <Yeah. laughs> to clarify, the onion loaf. It's basically I mean, like an onion bargy. Yeah, NJ said it was like an onion bhaji, which it is, basically. It's basically just a big pile of fried onions, sort of, mm-hmm. like deep fried onions, but I would is, say. It is in like a bread. A few years ago, I used to go to like a dirty kebab shop takeaway that did burgers and stuff. And I, I was try- they did a burger called a special burger, which was beef burger, chicken burger, and donna meat as a burger. And I was, oh. trying, I was trying to convince them to do... A burger, which was beef burger, chicken burger, and one of the flat onion barges that they did as a burger and name it after me. I wanted them to call it the Stevie Burger after me. The Stevie Burger? So, yeah, because the guys in my local kebab shop for about five years insisted on calling me Stevie every time I went in. <laughs> and I didn't, so no. And I didn't have the heart to tell them to the point where when I used to phone up and make an order and they said, what's the name? And I go, oh, yeah, it's me, Stevie. Hang on a second. So, so no, one, no one would have ever known it was actually named after you. If no. you, told... <laughs> yeah, you hey, hang on, hang on. You, you won't tell strangers that your name's not Stevie, but you will fucking tell us not to call you <laughs> Stu. <laughs> yeah, but you, you're not going to spit on my pizza. You don't know that. <laughs> Depends how, depends how hard you offend uh, Mrs. Peterson about mm. her pizza. Yeah, I'm not eating her pizza anyway, no. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> we'll obviously just say. Yeah, um, I mean, we'll go back to the question I asked 15 yeah. minutes ago. Gourmet. Does someone else want to? Gourmet versus High Street. Right, okay. Um, gourmet Burger Kitchen can do one. Yeah, I, correct. I, I, had a, I had a Byron recently that was really nice. Um, oh, no. But the winner for oh, me. Is uh, there's a place up? I think it's only up north. I know there's one in Liverpool. I know there's one in Leeds. And there's a couple in Manchester, which is a place called Almost Famous, which absolutely destroys every other burger, but by a country mile. I've, I've heard of that. Yes. Yeah, I think we might get that down here because I'm fairly certain I've heard of Almost, yeah. Almost Famous as well. Yeah. So I think I've, I've I've heard of that. I don't know whether it's because I've seen it circulate on Instagram or Facebook, but I've heard. Mm. That. Um. What I will say is that uh, on this issue, because I, I don't quite... When you're saying high street versus gourmet, are you essentially meaning fast food against... Yeah, so, so uh, I mean, yeah. ge- I guess generally speaking, I'm, I'm comparing McDonald's. But, I mean, you, you can you can yeah. extend that further to just generic I don't yeah, know, burger yeah. van or anything like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah take, take away, I guess, versus, versus gourmet. I would say um, uh, McDonald's do a lot of burgers and stuff. Uh, you know mcdonald's kfc uh burger king they do a lot, lot of burgers that i would eat in meals and they do the trick for cer- certain circumstances but um having a proper gourmet burger is normally uh sort of i would say incomparable um in terms of f- tasting fresh uh size uh that sort of thing um what i would say Personally, for me, in terms of gourmet restaurants, um, I'm I, I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of gourmet burger kitchen. No, nope. I uh, because I I actually feel what I commend them on is their like variation and innovation. Mm. I.e. Uh, i.e. kiwi burger, I think is great. I think it's great that they try and do things differently. Nope. Uh, I think it's great that they 
yeah, spice things up a bit and offer you literally a brilliant variation. Um, yeah, create creative, very creative with their burgers. Yeah, they are. Um, at the same time, sometimes I think. Oh, you're doing a little bit too much for for the money. Um, you are just sort of getting a bit innovative, innovative, and then just slapping an extra couple of quid on there, and then doing for oh, they're fries. I know it's not. I know it's a burger topic, but they're ultra skinny fries. I love. Um, I, I'm yeah. I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of it, but I'm not a big fan because I know this is sort of contradictory, uh, contradicting what i've said about innovation but sometimes i don't want all the wacky stupid flavors i don't want egg and pineapple and beetroot all over my burgers sometimes i do want beef cheese bacon and i don't want to overcomplicate things too much um which is sometimes i think why i'd be put off gbk um okay guys that's an hour so (laughs) (laughs) yes <laughs> now we've obviously got a lot to cut out as well. I imagine. No, shut so up, mate. We can probably keep Shush. going. <laughs> Talking too much. Um, actually, though, for me, Byron is it is. Uh, I would say everything I hate about the gourmet oh, burger wow. world. Yeah, personally, Byron was actually one of the first um, gourmet burger places I tried, and I actually I did enjoy it. I I loved their milkshake. Yeah, their milkshake. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, and I really enjoyed it, but it was one of the first. I didn't really have anything to compare it to. Then I think, to be honest, maybe it's not Byron's fault, but I, I, that, that's when I obviously found Five Guys, which didn't just blow it out of the water. It just I, I was laughing at Byron after that. Yeah. Like I was laughing. And then I actually did return to Byron for a second time and was absolutely flabbergasted at their prices, like mm. for what tiny burger you get. Yeah. And... I don't think I'll go back to a Byron, and that's not just because of their little infestation they had of whatever it was, mad cow disease or whatever. They had some massive outbreak of something, didn't they? Um, Did I? Didn't hear about that. The restaurant got closed, I think, or something. Sure. And yeah, nah. Obviously, not that I care about that because I'm not approved. But um, I did. I did actually look at it, and I was like, I was like, how is this burger costing this much to come out yeah. this small? I couldn't believe it. Um, is that on their menu, BFC? <laughs> what? Oh. Is NCV on yours? Oh. <laughs> uh, wow. 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 No comedic value for, for the new listeners that aren't familiar with the channel. Um, Thank you, David yeah. Goss. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Um, but I also... Um, there's a... Yeah, there are a lot of these gourmet uh, burger sort of places popping up. Little sort of stalls and... Uh, street food stands that do burgers and i personally find a lot of them a bit bit same old same old in the sense that they want to do it's just capitalizing on this hipster like Uh trend that we've got at the moment where oh we want to do a simple thing but do it really really good and like we pride ourselves on doing the simple things really really well and trendy but actually what you're doing is just a very very plain burger and call and calling it funky and fresh and hip um and that that to be honest is starting to annoy me now because i'm starting to see through that like i'm starting to see through the the fact that it's, it's street food and so it's a bit quirky and actually yeah five guys is incredible and going to like these unique gourmet places, like I mentioned a minute ago, uh, Ma Pluckers that do like a, do chicken ones, and Red Dog Saloon that do massive beef burgers. There's other ones as well, like Bleaker Burgers and um, Dirty Bones, stuff like that. They, they do huge beef burger. We like that, don't we? It's it's, it's mm. massive stacks of bur- like massive snack burgers. That's that, that's interesting enough. We don't. I'm starting to get a bit tired of these simple one patty with a bit of melted cheese and bacon and calling it, calling it basically fresh and funky like. So, yeah, um, I, I'm pr- I'm getting picky. I'm getting picky. There's um, yeah, I, I, I Byron's to me. I I, I completely agree. I, I I found it. I find it. I've I've been there. I think three times. I've just been very underwhelmed by it each time yeah. and the amount of I, I took. Uh, we went there recently, um, and, and we ended up. We went with another couple, and we did have a drink. To be fair, but walked out of there paying forty quid for burgers and fries, and it's like, fuck right. now, this is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. for for yeah. what we what we had, um, and it just wasn't. It was okay. It was it wasn't terrible by any means, but just when I've had other things, it just doesn't compare. Uh, probably the, the, my favourite 
place. It's I think it's a one-off. I don't I don't think that it's a chain by any means. There's a place in Eton called the Flaming Cow, and it has the sort of creativity that that Gourmet Bur- Burger Kitchen has, and it sort of tries to combine, you know, various flavors and throw a load of things in. But it's it's very quirky. Um, it does the flavors really well. I mean, the first time I went there, I had I can't remember the name of it, but it was essentially called a chicken pizziola or something like that, and it had marinara sauce and pepperoni on a chicken burger and it was it was incredible it's so tasty and like you say big just full of flavor amazing and it and yeah it was a bit pricier it was probably about 10 10 to 12 quid per um per burger but it's worth it for the flavor and the size and the portions that you get um i'm i'm a massive fan i i, I think gourmet burgers are worth the extra money when you compare them to mcdonald's but mcdonald's and things like that are very convenient um, that's right. what that's what they're there for, and they fill a great gap in the market. I'm not certainly not going to criticise them, but oh, I'll I criticise people... McDonald's every day of the week. I mean, you know my feeling on McDonald's. Oh, absolutely. I mean, but I'm, I'm not going to criticise. I'm not going to criticise it for what it's supposed to be. I mean, it's not supposed to be. I know. I know their adverts try and give it the big and about. You know, we're 100 percent beef and blah, blah blah. But we all know it's bullshit. Yeah, wow, they fucking fillet the chickens that they use in their fucking sausage McMuffins or something, don't they? Oh. Did, I tell you, <laughs> did I ever tell you guys about the time that I got a phone call from my son's nursery? Because my, no. my son was overheard telling another child that McDonald's is for scrubbers. <laughs> oh, my God. Amazing. Yeah. Theo, like Theo. Theo said that. Yeah, he was. They came. They were like him and another kid came out of the toilets washing their hands, and they'd obviously been having some chat. Like the other kids going, "Oh yeah, I'm going McDonald's for my tea," and they walk out, and I was like, "Oh yeah, McDonald's is for scrubbers." Yeah, I got, I got called in. Brilliant. Wow. Yeah. And I bet you, I, I, I can imagine it now. You pretending you were annoyed and angry, but really you were so proud. Oh, so proud, mate. So. Proud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had to take issue with um, that. Oh, McDonald's for a market piece or hole or whatever it was. Um, I, I'm i not a massive fan of these gourmet balls yet. Uh, not the most colossal fan of gourmet burger kitchen, but honestly, probably more their price than anything. I think their burgers are pretty serviceable. Do like their fries. Do like the uniqueness of their fries. Tiny um, thin. Yeah. So Stick thin. thin. Yeah. yeah. And the rosemary as well. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, l- love the milkshakes. Excellent. It's just these... Uh, there's, there's a few things that I don't like about the gourmet kind of style burgers. First of all, they're just not as I don't like it when they're too thick. It's like, yeah, well done. Or with they're with cheddar when they're with cheddar cheese, that annoys me. I'm like, no, mm. doesn't. It's not it's not a thing. Amen, um, sister. I just prefer a thinner, juicier. Honestly, yeah, oh, yeah. greasier patty. Oh yeah. Um, it's just <laughs> easy to and um. But there is another thing. <laughs> I'm <laughs> laughing already. I don't even know what he's about to say. There, there is another thing that I don't like about uh, gourmet <laughs> style burger joints. What? Yeah. Yeah. And I could, I knew what it was a minute or so ago. <laughs> <laughs> Gossie, Gossie yeah. he, what is he drinking? <laughs> right. Honestly. Because I think he is getting quite pissed now. We're um we're, we're drinking four loco. Oh, oh fucking god! And I strictly said to MJ, I said, rule number one: we do not tell the guys that we're drinking alcoholic beverages until they fully believe that you are drinking an alcoholic beverage. <laughs> and at that point, only at that point where they realise or have suspicions that you're under the influence of alcohol, may you then tell them. Yeah. Are you drinking alcohol, Nathan Peterson? No, I'm not. I'm a fucking professional. Good man. Oh, uh, sorry, but I... it's professional to do that somehow. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brilliant. Chicken livers commented. Hi, NJ and Clear and Nate. But <laughs> no stew. S T E W. Who's chicken liver? It's you, isn't it? No, Are no, you chicken no, livers? Look, look, Have you just look, commented that's, without that's me true. noticing? Not, because my hands actually been in shot. Because one, that's very <laughs> funny, shot. and two, they're a great contributor to the show. Yeah, chicken livers. Is, I'd, even his profile picture, just this little dog. It's like. amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little John Russell. Really, yeah, I think it is this dog typing it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, MJ's um, so drunk, and so, I love it. 
Oh, do you know what? I'm going to make such a good point about what I don't like about hipster. Uh, sorry, gourmet burgers. <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck, what was it? Cheese, fries, uh, products. Oh. What, what else do they all do? Blah, blah, blah. Buns? No. Sauces? No. MJ, you need to get on the mic. What do you mean on the mic? Like, get close to the mic, because you're going so quiet, man. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, he was the one that mocked me earlier for talking into the mic. Oh, isn't it? Is he on the floor? He's just like on his, <laughs> on his ass on the floor. Oh, away, He's just shouting up at the ceiling, hoping <laughs> that you can catch it. Oh, fuck. What I must be able to remember. Burgers, gourmet. <laughs> Should we Kitchen. just move on? Should we just uh, move on? Let's just I mean, move on. Let's whilst we're, whilst we're, sorry, can I just say this? And I don't actually genuinely, I genuinely don't have much to comment though with this, um, but should mention whilst we're on the topic of gourmet burgers and hipster burgers I've to remembered. be He's remembered. But <laughs> hipster burgers to be precise, you may or may not have noticed, but if you haven't noticed, you will start to notice that the new trend is in Asian burgers Hmm. Or, or no, 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 no. The steamed bun. Uh, mm-hmm. Are you guys familiar with this? As in, yeah, like, I the, had the, one. the Chinese bao, the very white, the steamed bun that you'd get in like yes. a dim sum. That yes. that sounds amazing. Yeah, and it's it's very very like oh. current right now. Is that like there's a lot of little street vendors and stuff, street food vendors doing the steamed bun. Um, I Speaking went to dine. Steaming. I went. Oh, brilliant. Uh. I went to Dine Um, obviously a couple of months back, and there there was literally a a, a stall there, sort of dedicated almost to the steamed bun. Um, they're very popular at the moment. Um, they do include a sort of a range of things, but I think pork is is like a big thing that they do in yeah. the um yeah, yeah. in the steam. Um. That Black will probably be something we see more of. I'm I surprised think. Pretzel Bun never did much over here. Mm. Yeah, mm. they look so appealing. I have had one that it was delicious, but um, yeah, it's one of those. Tri- like, I imagine it will. There's probably plenty out there, but it's just it, there's so many of these gourmet pop up places now that it's it's there are a lot of the the like, as Gossie was saying a lot of the just oh we're trying to do the just to yeah. do a very simple burger but do it well which translates to boring yeah. um yeah. but at the same time there's probably loads of just little ones down some dirty alley that you probably walk past and don't think much of which actually probably exactly. does some really amazing creative things yeah, um but uh i'd love to, i'd love i've said this for, for a couple of years now i'd love to do just like a little just take a week off work and just do like a little burger tour of london or something like that or just the uk in general i guess um because there's so many places I would love to try, and I'd want Michael Jameson and Patreon to pay for it. My, 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 uh, my brothers recently complained that I'm going on holiday and my parents have just got back from a holiday, and he's complained that he hasn't been on a holiday in X amount of years, despite the fact that he has a part-time job that he earns quite a lot of money from because he works all the time, but instead chooses to spend all his money in the local nightclub, Winkers. Um, he complains that he Winkers? hasn't gone on a holiday with Mate, yeah, oh. um, yeah. What? Hang on, where, what a place. What? Chalfont Saint. Yeah, where, but he goes to uni in Southampton. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah, Southampton. Yeah, he he comes back and he oh, just spunks just... all his part time work money like in there. Despite so, he can afford a, a holiday, so he shouldn't really. He doesn't have the right to complain about not going on holiday because he works for money that you can translate into <laughs> currency um, and go on holiday. Um, <laughs> long story short. He got let off some money that he owed my parents, i.e. he's the second child, he's by far the favourite and just gets away with murder. They let him off like money that he owed them for some sort of accommodation shit. I don't know. Let's not get into it. But um, he has chosen with that money. This is just on your point of uh, your little burger tour. Instead of going on holiday, he's he's choosing to go to like various freshers around the country <laughs> and do a and do a night out in several cities in England. To- literally he's 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 starting off in south going to Bristol, working his way up north and then coming back down again. Lots. Um, yeah. And uh, you just you literally just put that idea. You made me think of that by saying you want to take time basically off to just do like a burger tour of the UK. Correct. 
picking several burger joints. Are you probably just referring to London? But now I'm thinking wide scale frat, frat boys on tour. Um, oh, it's not it doing podcasts and food reviews in various UK cities, trying their number one burger joints. Correct. Correct. I, I, I would much rather do that and, work, and take a week off of work. It's, Correct. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't I? I mean, MJ does something similar, doesn't he, with theme parks? I'm sure we can do the same with burgers. Yeah, theme Correct. parks. Check it out on fest. the life of Michael Jameson channel. We, so, theme <laughs> fest, we could do... Feast fest. Well, yeah, there I we definitely go. don't think we should do Nate's suggestion of meat fest. That's <laughs> really different. Um, so, yeah, the pretentious thing that I don't like, and I'll tell you why I don't like it. I don't like it because it's science. Yeah. He's so drunk, so, by the way. So, yeah, I can see, I can see in his face. He is starting to slur, and his nah, eyes are like glazing a bit. Nah. Take a photo of him. <laughs> right, nah. What's up? Um, no, um, <laughs> I've got <laughs> very little battery. <laughs> yeah, you probably have to say, like, oh no, shitting fuck. He's actually tickling me. This is horrendous. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. Oh my God. No, this is awful. Oh God, this is horrendous. No. Fuck off, please. No, correct. Um, so, comment now. <laughs> Buckle in. I'm about to say it. Um, what don't you like about gourmet burgers? So MJ. There, there's something that I don't like. Um, <laughs> so, and it's backed up by science, and it's not. It's not even. It is a preference thing. So I like my I like my burgers to be, you know, juicy basically, and when I say like greasy, like Five Guys are moist. They are. But what I don't like is this whole fucking. We'll cook it medium bollocks couple reasons a just annoying just mm. annoying pretentious Fuck off. yeah it's not it medium rare don't try and tell you know yeah. or it's not medium or medium well like, yeah. you're gonna do it the same in you Fuck it. Just... But there's actually a health reason not to do it as well so <laughs> it's safe to do so and i suppose oh, you know God. partly speaks to the actual quality of the meat and maybe it's safe to do it but <laughs> the reason it's safe to do it <laughs> This is brilliant. I don't know why that's funny. Oh, Uh, brilliant. I I hate burgers where they ask you how you want your meat done because it's not safe. But to be honest, I think it probably is safe. (laughs) (laughs) No, 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 no. Um, So so, um, it is safe to do it with a steak, uh, you know, blue, whatever, because the bacteria forms on the outside of the steak. And when they cook it, they sear it on the outside, thus killing the bacteria on the outside. With a burger, um, they mince it so the outside of the steak becomes the potentially becomes the inside of the burger. So you cannot guarantee that the bacteria is completely eradicated in a rare or medium burger. Fact. Science. Bullshit. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Fake news, <laughs> man. No. I, look, fucking Google that right now, bitch. <laughs> He's so aggressive right. and drunk. Help what's me. The, um, what's the URL for Alta Vista? <laughs> rare burgers are f-y-c-j-u-b danger d-a-n-g-e-r-i-y-s he is so drunk wow oh uh, sh- should we move on i think we should probably move oh. on because uh, MJ, God knows you'll catch up with us. Um, let's move on. Actually, given the, given how long we've been on, let's let's move on to uh, the game show sweeping the nation. Before we talk about, because I assume you're moving on from the burger topic, then yeah, yeah, yeah. So, quick question to all three of you, just to wrap it up: best uh, chicken poultry based poultry based burger and best beef burger you've ever had by memory. Shoot. Best chicken was obviously the white line at the top of the road. Gossy knows what it's all about. Fucking amazing southern fried chicken, mayo, lettuce. Amazing. It was amazing. Um, rest in peace. Um, Stack, pretty stacked as well. Yeah. Best beef. Ah, it's got to be something from Five Guys. I, I, don't, I don't think I've had anything that's topped it, if I'm honest. Like Even in America, where I, I would imagine that they should be way better, I don't think I've had anything that's that even equals a, a Five Guys. Yeah, uh, um, I don't remember. I honestly, I have not got enough experience with chicken to comment. I think I see, like, no, no, like seriously, I haven't had enough chicken sandwiches to actually say yeah, blah blah. blah. The one that I had at the food fest at uh, 
blah, 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 uh, nearby Manor House. Wadston. Uh, Wadston was very nice, but uh, yeah, generally couldn't say. Uh, beef, absolutely five guys, absolutely uh, love it. It's juicy. It is. It is literally everything I would want in a burger. Uh, and ch- chicken, similarly, I don't have enough experience with chicken burgers. Uh, beef, uh, it was. I stayed. I'm gonna say the burger I had on the first night of my honeymoon, which was the burger in the hotel in Seattle. Oh, um, oh. amazing. It was just was it, windy is city. this is this affected by the topping of love or no, was it you know genuinely what? the best? I'm, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm from Yorkshire, mate. I don't have feelings. Um, <laughs> it was it was. I don't know whether it was the best at the time. It was the best burger I'd ever had, Amazing. and I, re- I remember thinking this is the best burger because it's the first time I'd ever had a thick, juicy it, everything that MJ doesn't want in a burger. It was thick. It was juicy. It was rare in the middle. And I was used to shit English burgers, and it was this was going back. I got married two thousand and nine, so I'm going back eight years. Um, which I'd had GBK, but as we know, I don't like GBK. Um, so it, it blew me away, and I think that's the that's the only one that sticks out to me. I've had some great burgers since, but I could, you know, a lot of them just went, melted into one. It's a lot of beef, yeah. a lot of cheese, and a lot of bacon. Do mm. you um? Do you know the exact name of that place or the name of the hotel? Yeah, I do, man. It's the Double Tree, the Hilton Double Tree in Seattle. Okay, cool. So people can look that up then and have yeah. a look. Yeah, can't even remember what was on it. <laughs> it was good. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, also, I'd just, I'd just been on like, I'd just done like eighteen hours of travelling and all that, and I was probably drunk, so you know. So it probably was go. shit, but you just. Yeah. Yeah, Do remember it being good. Yeah, you were just you were just desperate for uh, for um, for food, and yeah. you, you were so hungry that this has just become the best thing you've basically ever had. Absolutely, yeah. What about you, Gossie? Yeah. Oh, for me, for me, yeah, beef is the more boring one because I genuinely can't see past five guys. Like, it's every every ingredient and component of that burger tastes fresh and as strong as that component should taste. Yes, it's just. <laughs> that is that's the best way to describe it. The, the burger itself is yeah, is amazing. It's it's messy as you fucking want it. It's stacked as you can make it. Um, yeah, amazing. Um, in terms of chicken, my favourite chicken burger, and arguably thus my number one burger I've ever had, and I can't recommend it enough. If you come down to London uh, in Kingley Court, which is just off Carnaby Street in the Soho area. Stax Diner, S T A X. The moment I had the first bite of it, I genuinely knew it was the one. So it was a chicken burger. Yeah. So in terms of chicken, I cannot recommend this burger enough. And wow. Nathan knows how yeah. much we love that white line burger. So for yeah. me to have found one that I feel surpasses it, um, Go on, what's in it? Uh, to be honest with chicken. you, again, uh, it was actually to be fair a little while ago. Now I think it was like. Uh, it basically, back the... end. it was Christmas time last, uh, this year, just gone. If you've got me on Instagram, uh, underscore David Goss, um, you will be able to scroll down and see it at Stacks Diner. Um, it, it, to be honest, it was a massive stacked uh, bit of chicken burger, which, as Nathan again knows, sorry to reference some shitty burger that doesn't exist anymore <laughs> at a one off <laughs> at a one off place. Whoa, but the whoa, white line, whoa, 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 some uh, shitty burger. burger. White Lion Burger was incredible because it had a massive bit of chicken in it. This does. MJ, I thought you were going to go and find my burger yeah. instead of looking at... No, no. <laughs> no, I'm not going to call you out on what you've just been looking at because yeah. that's Blazing obviously spot. worse. Um, probably can't, um, but yeah. David underscore Goss. Go, go to Gossy. <laughs> Go to Gossie. You found it then, and I've somehow... Found there we go. Right, and if you scroll yeah. down, you'll see. I think it genuinely was... Um, that one there, I'm going to guess. No, right. that's... Uh, further? Atomic Burger. Yeah, yeah, further, further, further. How how many Instagrams do you do a week, would you say, on average? Uh, not many, because it's just there. Um, About 100. <laughs> okay, so there's... Wow. There is tomato in it, which I've clearly taken out before starting it. Um, the Ranch Chickadee, it's called, and it has American cheese... Oh my god, this is why. Maple glazed beef bacon. Fucking hell. Uh, beef bacon. The thing that attracts me to this image is that you can see the crispiness right. of the 
chicken. Of the chicken. Fillet. And yeah. I don't think you've even increased the structure on that one on Instagram. I, d- I honestly, I'm not sure if I have. Um, and ranch dressing. It was absolutely phenomenal. And Nathan, just looking at the photo now, your good wife has commented on it saying mm-hmm. this looks incredible yeah. heart uh, eyes emoji and tongue sticking out like emoji so she wants to go there take her yeah take her up do the honor it is honestly arguably the best burger i've ever had in my life wow. the, the ranch chickadee from stacks diner i cannot recommend this enough i would it, it's just one of those things that you're so confident that everyone in the galaxy would love that you're just like do it have it eat it go for it you have to go Sweet. Don't tell me how to treat my wife. <laughs> Don't get between a man and his woman, yeah? So. <laughs> no, we'd never. No, it looks it looks incredible. And I, I know you've been raving about that for months. And uh, which is why, like, coming back to it, which is why I'd love just to do the tour because I don't go up London often enough. And if, and if we do tend to go up there, we want to have, not going to say this isn't a nice night, but we tend to go up there for a special occasion or something or. Yeah whatever so it's it, there's just too much to try up there which is why i want to book it off and have literally breakfast lunch and dinner up london burger each each meal <laughs> i am by standing up <laughs> sorry he's just taken off his headphones to check how drunk he is by standing up he he initially stumbled across his living room he's now doing spins and spinning um i think he's okay yeah I think so more than tipsy, I'd say. Okay, he's fine. Shall, shall we move on to the next thing so we can get this done and MJ can get to bed? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think my it's probably ears, the same. My ears are very sweaty. <laughs> Stuart, can that be the title? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's everything we've got about burgers. Obviously, let us know your thoughts on burgers, what your favourites, um, any particular chains or toppings or anything like that. Just get in touch and let us know. Is it like when, about... when your ears are burning, someone's talking about you, but when your ears are sweating, someone's thinking about you? <laughs> Good. We... Is that... <laughs> it's funny because they're not reacting. No, no reaction. It's pure NCV there. And... <laughs> I mean, no, I'm, it, I'm, it... I am thinking about you. To clarify, I'm thinking about how much of a drunken tit you are yeah <laughs> is that like a bird like a blue tip yep wow yep. wow see bird <laughs> oh my god he's he's through the looking glass he's he's actually he's he's gone i just wish you drink he had uh drunk on his uh stag do because this would have been fucking incredible for three nights <laughs> weird that i did weird it is it weird is that weird. you didn't, yeah. Do you acknowledge that now? Yeah, that yeah weird. weird. I don't know why, I just wasn't in the mood. Like, not, <laughs> not in a bad way. Like, I wasn't like, oh. Oh, you hated just stagged it? No, no, just like, no, I loved it. Just, I, I, it might have been, it might have been fear. Fear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was fear that I didn't want to get drunk. MJ uh, Stagdu. Gossy, were you on MJ Stagdu? I was indeed, yeah. yeah were, you, were you on MJ Stagdu? Yeah, I was. Were you on this, Stu? No. Oh. No, Ooh, it's weird because it's weird because we had a, two extra places as well. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Do you, I nearly, I nearly, nearly invited you. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, that's not bad. bad. No, literally, I was like, surely I can't invite someone that I've never met. That was literally like my thought process. In- instead, I'll invite him to the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but sorry, you don't invite a hundred fucking people to your stag do, do you? Fucking. <laughs> oh, so, you to edit that out? so just. Oh, to, just, hell. just oh. to get this right, you only invited Stuart because you had a surplus of places to fill. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm made. I mean, this oh, is all going to have to be edited out anyway because Michael Jameson called you. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Just beep it. Yeah. I mean, we. Yeah. Let's let's face it. The last half hour has to be taken out anyway because <laughs> we've gone over an hour. Yeah. Um, right, let's move on. Come on, guys, <laughs> just just batten down the hatches for a bit because it's time for sweeter or savoury. It's time to play a game. Let's play a game. It's called sweeter or savoury. We'll put the name of a food stuff out of a hat. 
tell us what we think about that old food and next food stuff. The sweet talk or oh, savory. Oh. Will it be sugary or covered in sour? It's just no way to know what you want to do. Will the next food stuff be sweet talk or oh, savory? Oh. Hello, David Goss. Hello. I'll never beat MJ's score, by the way, from episode one. So, MJ, you're on six. Is that correct? Oh, shit. Yeah, I am. Yeah. yeah. And actually, I just thought, the did did you not match it on the episode that was lost? No, I matched it on the episode that was not lost. I matched it on chocolate. So, Nathan, you're on four. Is that correct? Correct, yes. And I got eight on chocolate. Oh, you did. You smashed it. So, I am currently yeah. the, uh, the, the champion. Let's see how well David does. David... Are you ready for your first food stuff? Oh, yeah, go for the it. The first food stuff is... Oh, it's a returner. It's Sriracha. How do you feel about Sriracha? Um, mid. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a sauce, isn't it? It is a sauce, correct? <laughs> it's a sauce. I, I, I can't say I have too much of it, though, to be fair. Oh, well, you're um, screwed then. I've got some if you want it. Pardon? got some if you want to try it. Go on, then. MJ's, MJ's got some, he's bringing it to the table. This might take a while, bloody hell. Right, are you, have you had some sriracha? Oh, no, I haven't. Um, it's hot chilli sauce. Yeah. So, I have this in wraps and whatnot. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah. Um, there is a sweetness to it, isn't there? Is, there? Um, is absolutely. Correct. Absolutely, but it, it it's one... It's definitely, definitely, obviously more sour and heated than i would say it is sweet so um the next product is going to be sweet okay david goss your next product first time out of the bag or out of the northern flat cap it's hoisin sauce okay yeah so that is considerably sweet uh, yeah yeah, definitely definitely, um so what does that mean i've got one no, you got no. two. No, you get your okay, first one for free. Okay, okay, that's it. No, no um, one's no one's a loser in sweeter or savoury. No, 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 only no. the only the listeners. Yeah, that's what. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, hoisan sauce is hoisan. Hoisan, <laughs> yeah. hoisan. It's not really hoist. It's not hoisin, is it? Yeah, it's it's, it's it's like a chipotle, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, chipotle and hoisan. I would say hoisan <laughs> is considerably sweeter. But definitely still savoury. So I'm going to say the next one is sweeter. Wow. Wow, you madman. You, you, oh. <laughs> David Goss. It's fucking so, maverick. It's salt and vinegar McCoy's. <laughs> 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 you just... Oh. Wow. Cool. I've just oh. called that, haven't I? Yeah, I mean, do. I mean, you're lich. I mean, I say no one loses. It's sweet. I mean, you just proved me wrong, haven't you? Because... What a massive loser. I mean, who thought that anyone could be worse than Nathan Peterson? But, you know, David Goss, how do you feel about that, Nathan? I feel amazingly good. (laughs) I had to keep keep the time of this podcast down to a (laughs) If only you didn't have Michael Jameson set next to you pissed as a fart. (laughs) That's offensive to farts. Uh... Did you say fart or fox? Sorry to any farts that are listening out there. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. I want to go again. It was fun. No. Nope. <laughs> I just can't help but feel if you had said sweet and sour vinegar curry, McCoy's and I said sweeter and you bought out hoisin, I'd still think I'd lost. <laughs> no, you wouldn't have. No, There's no way. Not a chance. MJ, bring out the hoisin. Uh, <laughs> the hoisin. <laughs> Got I'm joking. Um, definitely, Correct. yeah, uh, I'm not. To clarify, that means that David Goss, you're currently sitting at the bottom of the leaderboard. Yeah. With, with Nathan Peterson on top of you. <laughs> Reason to come back, though. So... Yeah, I want to do this. Oh, I need to beat this because this is bullshit. <laughs> oh, this is absolute bullshit. You can't blame anyone else but yourself, mate. You're the one that went, you're the one that went uh, sweeter than Ho- Hoysan. <laughs> it's not that sweet. My my feet are drunk. <laughs> I, think, I think that might be a, a contender for podcast title. Yeah, definitely. Really? Whatever the other one was, all this. Sweaty ears and my feet are drunk. Mm. Sweaty ears and drunk feet. Yeah. There you go. 
Um, well, that ends obviously Sweeter and Saber with a, with a very impressive score of two. Three. Um, two. Surely he doesn't get. A th- surely he doesn't get a third point for the one he got wrong. No, you get you get you get the points for however many cards there are out of the bag. Oh come on, that's ridiculous. That's the way right. it's always worked. So yeah. he gets three, even though he only got one right. Yep. <laughs> I think that, that sounds look, good to me. Yeah. I, look, I don't, I don't make the rules, Nathan. I just enforce yeah. Sorry, them. sorry, Nate. I don't remember you complaining when you got step four or however uh, many you got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're right. I'm gonna you're actually absolutely have definitely to, I'm, reviewing those mini rolls of jelly babies with me at this stage. I'm Chris. actually gonna have to put him to bed, aren't I? <laughs> Isn't it? Um, well, I mean, like I say, that's the end of Sweet or Savory. Yeah, let's move on from that travesty. Oh, there's um, be another fucking game. No, there's no more games, mate. Fuming. No more games except the game of life. Um, I'll fucking lose at that as well. Oh, that's good. Probably. Hopefully. Um, not hopefully, that's too far. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, before we round off this show, um, obviously right. wanted to do some thank yous to right. the. <laughs> this is really unnerving with MJ just chiming in correct after every other word. Um, yeah, Gardale. <laughs> uh, I want to do some thank yous to the kind people who have contributed uh, and donated to our fund over at Patreon. Um, we obviously, as part of your perks, you get a one-off little shout-out at the end of the show. Um, so, thank you very much to Will Pavey, Adam yeah. Ducker. Ducker, Reed, big man. Reed Wilson, who we heard from earlier mm-hmm. with the pizza email. Dan yes. Baker. Baker the maker. Cameron White, who sent us all those amazing uh, Kit Kats back in the day. White, all right. Because, uh... And... Uh, Fruck comment extraordinaire chicken livers. No uh, way. Chicken, chicken livers. livers has has donated high livers. Um, yeah, and and amazingly, that is his name as well. His his real name is Chicken Livers. I thought <laughs> it... your Chicken Livers, your revolutionary way of describing my wife's name as clear, as <laughs> I would say, br- brought. Absolute Brilliant. joy to channel. <laughs> I'd also shout out Adam Ducker. That's my that's my homeboy, my flame boy. Your flame boy. No, my flame boy. That's his name, flame boy. Big up all them man's. Yeah, no. Thank you all very much. Uh, your contributions go towards making Michael drunk on four loco on a regular basis. Um, obviously, any, anyone else who wants, wishes to donate, please do. You can find us over at uh, patreon.com backslash food review UK or something like that. Just search for us, you'll find us. Um, lots of exclusives over there that you can get only by being a member and a patron yourself. Like, for example, the clip where Michael Jameson called Nathan Peterson a. <laughs> like that furry one. <laughs> oh, dear. This is why he shouldn't drink. If. Do it. MJ can definitely do it. I mean, I was mm. literally going to bleep out the word every time, but you saying that has told everyone what the word was. So, uh, well, just bleep out that then. Just bleep it all out. <laughs> just, just... An hour and forty-five minutes of bleep. See, David, this is how we end up with these long shows. They just the comedy rolls, and we have a good time. It ends up being longer than an hour. I get it. I get it. He, gets it. he doesn't I'm, like it, but he gets I'm it. No, no, no. I'm so on board now. All you needed to do is just bring me on. Just <laughs> let, let me live a let me live a day in the life of your shoes, and and I was always gonna. I'm actually getting quite pissed now as well. <laughs> <laughs> I've just realised because I'm I'm literally sat as far back as possible, just looking out the window. <laughs> literally so philosophical right now, thinking about how I was so wrong to judge podcasts on being less than an hour and more than an hour. And I think it's that that sort of realisation that I was wrong, man, and I should have given it a chance is literally yeah. probably um, a consequence of me drinking like. Yeah, an entire can of Four Loco in a very short space amount of time. There you uh, go. Hopefully, you'll stop your moaning about it. And we'll take that. We'll take that as an apology. Thank you, David. Oh, absolutely. I apologise, hand on heart. This is good. 
It's, well, that's better than the good. That's oh, shit. Don't leave that type of review on iTunes. Don't go good, <laughs> good podcast. Yeah, well, that's, what, that's what I was going to do. Um, oh, best podcast I've ever listened to. Three out of five. <laughs> Nathan gets a reference as well. It's an inside reference because he once described, uh, I think, an apple pie. Apple crumble. Apple, apple crumble is the best he'd ever had and then rated it three out of five. <laughs> and it caused mass argument at the work dinner table because people were saying, how can you say it's the best of something you've ever had and then only give it a three? And Nathan was like, well, to give you context, I haven't had many apple pies and it's the best one I've ever had. So that statement's true. Not- However, it only still fits a three out of five sort of rating, which I completely understood, but no one could get their minds around it. Was that post truck? Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So Na- Nathan out. didn't know how to review food until until we saw him. <laughs> I had no food opinions until about three years I, I'm ago. I'm not even sure Nathan could count to five, if I'm honest with you. So... <laughs> Because I don't know if you guys find this, but I find that the five-star rating system has a bit more weight now that we're post truck. It's like, oh, okay, <laughs> you, you've said that. That's actually official. <laughs> yeah because we revolutionized the five star product uh, five star rating by giving it a six star and a minus three <laughs> <laughs> we, we revolutionized the five star rating by taking the ten star rating and just shifting it back a few that's what we've done <laughs> Jesus well, Stewart, Christ Stuart's done a dirty protest as well I edited your video recently I think it was uh, uh, India Pale Ale Sour and you basically refused to give it six stars. I was very offended. <laughs> He's slurring. <laughs> I was very, I was very, very offended. Oh, that's literally yeah. how he. That's how he said it in his face as well. He was like, "I was very, very offended." Almost as if it was just one word. Uh, I put forward a motion that MJ drinks on every episode. All those in favour say aye, aye. Aye. I'm drunk. <laughs> but they did start with I, so that works. Correct. It's fine. Yeah, correct. And on that bittersweet <laughs> drunken note, let's round out the show. Uh, David, thank you very much for being on. Have you enjoyed yourself? Oh, mate, I've loved it. I've had such a good time. Thank you for having me. I hope I'm your only ever guest that comes back every week. <laughs> you are uh, our only ever guest until we record the next show. Uh, thank you to Stuart and Michael. Hopefully, Michael can get himself tucked into bed and he will recover in time for work tomorrow thank you all for listening this is frack uh, frack can't even say the word this is frack unwrapped see you later bye Bye. i love you bye (laughs) you're me or the listeners all everyone everyone all the love Um, to all of you all the love listeners presenters anyone even even all the food that we've been talking about just goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye to the listeners that hated on me. <laughs> goodbye to the listeners who loved me. Goodbye goodbye to <laughs> trusted <laughs> me. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to goodbye. everybody. <laughs> now I need some bedtime in my life. Now I need to say good night. <laughs> <laughs>